Hi everyone, welcome to May Energy Update for 2024. Thanks for being with me. Um, if you enjoy the content of these videos, it would really help me if you subscribe, like, share <laughs> and comment on the video below. Um, straight into it, the banner for this month is Breakthrough. So we have a major energy that's <clears throat> unfolding during the whole month of May and it's breakthrough energy. So um, we have two main things this month. One is a really deep need to continue a practice of silence. So to really find moments each and every day where you can just tune into yourself and just go silent. So that means, you know, all technology put down. For those that have a practice of earthing, you could combine it with that where you're barefoot walking or just standing outside, close your eyes, oh, turn your face towards the sky and the sun or the rain or whatever is there and just have some moments of silence. You know, I find in nature, <laughs> it's anything else but silent, but it's the silence that comes from an awareness of what is, rather than the rumblings of the mind of the forever to-do list or requests of this, that and the other. It's, it's a time of just being. This is really, really needed. We've got quite a lot of energy, loving energy coming through, Venus type energy. Um, and also chatterbox energy. There's a lot of chatterbox energy along with loving energy coming through for the month of May. So um, this combination it is to balance all aspects of you. So it's wanting some uh, we're being advised, basically guided, to have some gentle times, some silent times. And this is, for me, it's really tuning into nature. So it's just tuning into the sounds of our natural world. It helps you to go, whatever it does for you, that helps you to go silent within. So the mind can just have a rest. So you can focus on what is, rather than the many things of maybes. So present moment meditation, um, anything that helps you just to be silent. Uh, so not reaching for the phone. It's really quite nice just to have some unplugged time of technology so you can plug in to the natural world, which is very restorative, very regenerative and just really healthy. So it provides a beautiful balance. So yes, yeah, so each and every day, some silent time. And the other side of it is motivation. It's oof, energy. It's, uh, I, I, I was given a picture by Gaia where let's say you're walking through a very well sunshine lit wood. So not a deep forest, but just a wood. And the pathway ahead was very level, uh, very clear of tree roots. All the colors of the new greens were out, all the reds, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere for, for the autumn energies, as well as the spring up here in the Northern Hemisphere. And it, you had comfy clothes on. So she's given me a, um, a view of each of us from behind. She's watching you walk through your meandering pathway through this wood uh, with lots and lots and lots of light, lots of sounds of nature. And then she showed me this sort of uh, unfolding, unveiling of the wind element. The wind is very much, the air element is very much associated with the mind but it kind of comes up behind us to help gently support us through walking our pathway. 
So the wind, the air element is around to help support us in our pathway ahead. And it sort of came towards us and wrapped itself around us and then went further in front of us, showing us the way. So these are gentle thoughts, uh, allowing your creativity as you go for a walk to rise. So ideas, inspiration, motivation can gently rise with this uh, provision of wind, of movement, of forward momentum, of clearing your thoughts, of uh, providing yourself with uh, focus on the next um achievement or goal or just something that you've always wanted to do, the energies in May are gonna really, really support that. So they support you in creative pursuits and that can be absolutely anything from literally physical crafting ideas to uh, oh, just singing and dancing around the house. There's so much you can do that's of a creative nature that's allowing you to ground your energies through your heart into your body into the earth uh, and the whole thing is is generating a creation of wealth there's a huge amount of abundant energy that's available in a very loving and a very inspirational way for me so with your silent time and your uh, gentle unfolding, um, your creativity and your motivation that begins to really start to kick in this month. It helps you break through uh, many of the constraints that some of us have felt over the last six months, if not a lot longer. So this is a breakthrough month with those, but it's done in a very gentle way. It's not a sledgehammer <laughs> approach, which is sometimes needed. This is very, very gentle, but persistent and continuous and putting one foot in front of the other and getting some momentum in your motivation towards something that is that may have been a bit sort of sticky energy before. It may have been... Um, sort of something was holding you back or the pause button was pressed. Well, that is no longer the case. Your sort of hand is over the remote and you're deciding what to do. You're certainly not gonna do fast forward. You're being invited into just pressing the play button and going at your own pace, but bringing in the word gentle, gentle activities, gentle thoughts of creation, gentle motivation towards that creation or that goal or whatever it is that you've got in mind. Now, as well as this um, silent time and connective time and motivation towards your, your goals, communication with loved ones is massively highlighted this month. It literally is massively highlighted this month. Again, with a playful, gentle, motivated kind of intention. And it's really um, for your family with a big inclusivity. So it's not just blood family. It's like soul family, as I would call it, or global family, however far reaching you want it to be. Uh, but communication is definitely going to flow much easier. It's also, you're going to find this chatterbox kind of energy that's coming in means that you may well find yourself getting carried away and chatting away about things and, blah, 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 and it all comes out. So that's why Guy is saying, how about we start off with a bit of silence, contemplation, a bit of time inwards, focusing in our, in our heart so that you can reflect and choose the kind of communication you're happy with and that's in alignment with who you are today and your own true self. So yeah, it seems like two simple things. Breakthrough energy is the main banner. Then you've got your silent time um, and then you've got your motivational uh, creative time 
uh, that's abundantly flowing with the air element. So it's our minds are going to be more active during this month because of the element of wind that's helping us. So that's why you will need this balance of silence and meditative time or activity so that you can just tune out of technology and into the heart and into nature as one aspect of self and then the other is as we've already said. Now I've got some a couple of cards for you for the month as well. This first pack that came up for the month of May is Kyle Gray's Gateway of Light Activation. And for the month of May for, oops, month of May for all of us. Oh, it's angelic frequencies. Angels are here. You are safe and potent connections. <laughs> Look at that one. You know, yeah, that definitely goes with the kind of like the, the silent time that I'm picking up. That's that inward expression of self. Oh, there's three packs actually that are coming up for us for May. The next one is um, Colette Baron reads The Spirit Animal Oracle. And for the month of May, we are being guided the koi fish spirit, there is always enough. And this to me is about the abundant type of energy that's here for us this month. It's an abundance of thought, it's abundance of activity, abundance of stillness, abundance of wealth in all areas. That really is about how much can you receive you know, how much of your heart is willing to be wide open to receiving as much love as possible. The third and last deck for this month is the Sacred Forest Oracle by gorgeous Denise Lynn. And for the month of May for our group, oh, Owl Spirit, we have Wisdom. How about that one? Wisdom from the owl spirit. Here she is, gently contemplating in silence. You see, some of the silence that we're being invited into is very creative in itself. And spirit finds it so much easier uh, to get its messages through when we're attentive as opposed to busy whizzy. So uh, that's also very much needed for everybody at this time. Okay, my loves, I will see you as usual on my soul gathering uh, in May. And uh, that's a couple of hours. All details are on my website if you're interested. And uh, yeah, we'll see what other inspiration comes up for our next video to share. Love you loads, loads and loads of love. I look forward to hearing something from you <laughs> as you watch this and yeah let me know let me know how this has actually worked for you or indeed how you're going to work it okay lots of love everyone <laughs>